electronic devices and circuits this is a very important and interesting topic to study around the modern day-to-day -day chips or the modern day-to-day -day processors that are built on the technology all the modern processors or the electronic devices they have a small chip which are nothing but a device or electronic devices which are made of semiconductors hence to study the basic building blocks of the chips or the basic building block of the motherboard or any of the electronic instruments it is very essential to know the making of electronic devices the process of construction the materials that are used for constructions of the chips and how they work or on which principles they work hence in this course we will study about the semiconductor materials the materials that are used for making chips or the small devices that are used to make some mighty big instruments like amplifiers power amplifiers nowadays we have a technology wherein we have a woofer systems DJ systems and various sound systems to enjoy or enhance the sound systems we require a very big materials or a very big systems but in those big systems we have very tiny instruments that are used to amplify the sound that are used to amplify the signals and that are used to amplify the beats that is what makes the sound system or woofer or amplifier hence in this course we will study everything that is related to amplifiers the instruments that are used to create amplifiers and the devices that can be constructed using some materials that are available enhanced in nature like semiconductors silica etc let's start with the introduction so why we are learning this course so what are the advantages of this course what can we learn from this course the knowledge what can we get these are some of the answers to the questions first of all at the end of this course I am 100% sure that whoever views this course will be able to understand or have a very good and precise idea about the conductors the insulators semiconductors but before going through this course students should have at least some or minor of the ideas about the conductors what insulators are what semiconductors are like for example what is an insulator an insulator is a device which does not conducts heat or electricity in simple language we can say an insulator is a material which does not allow heat to pass through it when heated or which does not allow electricity or the current to pass through it example of insulator is we can say a wooden rod or simple wood it does not allow electricity to pass through it similarly what is conductor conductor is exactly opposite of insulator conductor is a material or it is a device which allows electricity to pass through it or which allows heat to pass through it for example we can uh, take the example the best example of conductor is copper wire which we use in day to day life and various materials which we have in the home systems to pass on the electricity they allow current to pass through it 
that is why they are called conductors so let's take an example of what conductor is we have seen someone that allows to pass through it that is copper conducts electricity steel and various other materials that conduct electricity <laughs> these are the good conductors now similarly we also have bad conductors that is wood which is a bad conductor of electricity and so on now what is semiconductor semiconductors are those material which are somewhat in between conductors and insulators as the course proceeds we will study about the semiconductor materials how electrons or how electricity can pass through the semiconductor materials how can we construct a semiconductor material plus the working of semiconductor materials similarly we will also study about the semiconductor materials in this course and how they work like the most common semiconductor material is silica silica you can say a sand sand has some chemical composition in it called silica which can be used to create those materials for semiconductors also semiconductor materials are made by addition of some impurities like phosphor or bronze which again will study in detail about how the semiconductor behaves when we add on phosphor to it or how the semiconductor material behaves or what are the chemical compositions of semiconductor material when bronze is added to it sorry boron is added to it phosphorus phosphor and boron these are the two materials when added to a semiconductor material we have different kind of response we have different materials and let's see also as discussed by me we will also study about the basic structure of material like i said how the the behavior of a semiconductor material with respect to the addition of phosphor the structure and the chemical composition and the behavior of a semiconductor material with addition of boron with respect to the addition of boron the next point is define doping and name two types of conductor material formed with doping okay so what we mean by doping doping is a technical word to explain or to say the addition of impurities so the impurities here can be in the form of addition of phosphor or addition of boron this addition of phosphor and boron leads to different kind of impurities which can be either a p type impurity or n type material so as the course further proceeds we will again see how the doping is done and what are the advantages or structure of material after the doping is done and which material makes a p type or n type now let's take the next point the current carriers in n type and p type material so let's have some rough idea about how the current carriers are in n type and p type material this n type material is basically a material which are having negative energies or which are having excess of electrons now the electrons are negatively charged hence they are represented by n type and uh, the p type materials are positively charged hence they are represented by p type the carriers the term carriers describes how the electron flows or what causes the current to flow through it either the current are because of electrons or the carrier are is a n type or the carrier is electron 
or the carrier as a whole.